Good morning, Peace Up. I'm James Hoover. I'm Devin Johnson. And we're here with your morning announcements. Looking for some new gear to show your school spirit? Join us in supporting our new campaign, Plymouth High School Class of 2024 Merchandise Sale. The online store closes December 23rd. Delivery can be made to any address or be picked up from Plymouth High School, room 600, on January th uh, 30th. Look for the QR codes around the campus to order your gear. Attention all Plymouth High School Class of 2024 juniors. Our next council meeting is December 13th at 2.30 p.m. in the Plymouth High School room 600. All are welcome to attend. Attention all Plymouth High School Class of 2026 freshmen. Our next council meeting is December 15th at 2.30 in Plymouth High School room 600. All are welcome to attend. Attention all Plymouth High School Class of 2023 seniors. Our next council meeting is December 16th at 2.30 p.m. in Plymouth High School room 600. All are welcome to attend. A blood drive is being held this Friday in the Plymouth Gym from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. Look for posters to sign up for an appointment. The Peace Up Spanish Club is all open to all Peace Up Spanish speakers and learners. We explore the Spanish language and culture by listening to Spanish music, working on crafts, movies, trivia, learning to cook authentic dishes, hosting study sessions, and other culturally relevant activities. We meet twice a month on Tuesdays right after school in Plymouth 215C, Ms. Maturin's classroom. The next meeting is Tuesday, December 13th, and snacks will be provided. See you there. The 2023 SJ5K family nomination form is now open until January 15th. If you know of someone in a medical crisis, please consider filling out this form to nominate them to be one of the SJ5K families this year. You can find the form in the SJ5K Instagram bio. The Canton Freshman Student Council is welcoming new members. Meetings are held every Tuesday in the Canton Media Center during advisory. Check with your advisory teacher a day in advance and come to the Media Center to learn about what Student Council does. Interested in ethics and philosophy? The Peace of Ethics Bowl Club is having its first meeting of the year Friday, December 16th from 2.30 to 3.30 in Canton Room 202. This club is a place for students to share their interest in philosophy and ethics by discussing real-life ethical dilemmas in preparation for the Ethic Bowl competitions. We work together as teams to evaluate and discuss tricky ethical and moral issues during Ethic Bowl mas matches. Hope to see you there. The credit union will be at Salem on December 16th. Students will get free cookies from the school store for making a deposit of $5 or more. The Park Players Theater Company will be broadcasting a Christmas Carol radio play to celebrate the holiday season. Tune in to 88.1 The Park on December 15th at 8 p.m., December 17th at 2 p.m., December 22nd at 8 p.m., and December 24th at 2 p.m. to hear the cast perform an amazing show. Did you know that there is a yearbook class at the park? If that sounds interesting, Peace Up Yearbook is currently seeking 5 to 10 additional yearbook staff members for the second semester. Juniors and seniors are el students are eligible. Students must be able to enroll in the 6th hour yearbook class next semester. If you're interested in getting more information about this opportunity, please send a brief email before December 20th indicating interest to Peace Up Yearbook at pccsk12.com. The Canton Student Council Class of 2025 is hosting a Mod Pizza fundraiser on Monday, December 12th. Flyers are posted throughout Canton High School and students to mention the Class of 25 Council when they order to help benefit the Council. The Park Players Theatre Company is holding a fundraiser at Bamboo in Canton on December 16th. 10% of all proceeds will go to the company, so grab a drink or dessert to support the Park Players. More information can be found on their Instagram page at ParkPlayersTC. Do you want to join the fight for a world where every girl can choose her own future? Peace Up's new club, She's the First, is having their first meeting on December 16th, right after school in Canton 175. We will plan to host events and fundraisers to raise awareness about girls' rights, and we will lead discussions with peers to help move forward towards a more gender-equal gender world. There will be five free treats. On Wednesday, Oakland Community College will be on campus for a visit. On Thursday, a student from Savannah College of Art and Design will be speaking about her experience. And on Friday, the Aveda Institute will visit. See the Career Center website for more information. That's all for your announcements. Peace up. Have a great day. In Arizona, a reptile wrangler named Marissa Maki was summoned to a top golf, golf entertainment center and driving range to remove a rattlesnake that found its way into a ball dispenser. Thankfully, she was able to safely ensnare the Winsler Diamondback with the use of tongs where she relocated it to a bucket to be put in a less inhabited and safe area. I've actually gotten into a rattlesnake at this t same top golf before and co-workers of mine have removed some as well. It is surrounded by desert, so you are in their habitat, Maki told the Tribune newspaper. That's all for your news, Peace up. Have a good day.
Good morning, PSAF. I'm Ashley for your sports. In football, Brock Purdy outplayed Tom Brady on the field with the San Francisco 49ers beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 35 to 7. Locally, the, the Lions beat the Vikings 34 to 23. In hockey, the New Jersey Devils break their winning streak when they lost to the New York Rangers 3 to 4. And locally, the Red Wings take on the Hurricanes tonight at 7. Good morning, Peace Up. Today's weather will be a high of 36 with a low of 29, uh, with low winds and falling temperatures throughout the day. Have a nice day. Good morning, Peace Up. Uh, I'm here with the women's basketball team at Peace Up. Uh, can you introduce yourself, uh, your school, and your grade? I'm Maddie Stone, Canton Senior. I'm Maya Joyner, Canton Junior. Avery Collins, Plymouth Sophomore. Elena DeMaria, Plymouth Junior. Jenna Schultz, uh, Salem Junior. Isabel Kulik, Salem Senior. All right, the first question is, how is your season going? Our season is going pretty well right now. We're two and two, and we are working on correctable mistakes to have a better season. <clears throat> Our season going pretty good right now. We're two and zero, oh, and we play PCA today, which should be three and zero. Oh, so. Our season is going pretty good. Same as Maddie, just working on correctable mistakes. We're just going to keep working. All right, very cool. Uh, what team bonding activities are your favorite? Going out to eat with the team after the game. Going to the women's Michigan basketball game. Oh, the, <laughs> the bus rides before and after games. Cool. All right, and the last question is, what game are you most excited for? We are excited for the Northville games and any park games. We're also excited for park games because we think we're going to win. So. Uh, definitely the Canton game because we're definitely going to win. <laughs> All right, thank you for the interview. It's finally that time of year, and downtown Plymouth is just as excited as us. Kellogg Park put up their trees and other decorations, and the Penn Theater is playing plenty of Christmas movies. Saturday, November 26th was the Downtown Plymouth's Holiday Greens Market, featuring several Michigan-owned vendors. Many of them owned and operated food-based businesses, as well as a couple of ones that sold jewelry, clothes, and beauty products. Do you like cookies? Well, here are two businesses that were interviewed. I own One Tough Cookie. I've been doing it for about four years um, and a part of the market for two. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. You get to do different custom orders, um, holiday things, market events. It's fun, yeah. What inspired you to create this business? Um, so I baked my whole life. It was something that came naturally. Um, and after my daughter was born, I wanted to leave my job. Um, be able to stay home and this allowed me to do that so um, shortly after within the first year after she was born I left and I started baking doing custom orders and then slowly got into different markets throughout the area um, in Northville and Canton and now here in Plymouth um, and so it's just kind of slowly evolved. And what's your favorite thing that you've made? Um, I love doing custom orders so things for like weddings or birthdays, uh, bridal showers, being able to add like special touches is one of my favorite things. Next up is Michelle, owner of Sweet Creations, a 15 year old vegan bakery that caters to those with food allergies. And I developed food allergies. And like late 2017, so I had to change my diet. And I still wanted to bake and make a taste of dessert, so I started making my dessert. What's your favorite thing that you make? Um, it varies, to be honest. Right now, I really like my chocolate chip cookies, and I like these new, these are new, something that I started doing, the cake tins. The 
Holiday to Greens Market was an event to inform people about local businesses, whether it be in the area or further out in the state. Hopefully you can support these businesses sometime soon.